everyone, it's Melody. I am here with my D23 goodie bag, as well as a couple of things that I purchased on my most recent trip to Disneyland. So if you guys actually follow me on Instagram, either my personal one or my fandom related one, uh, you'll know that I went to D23 all three days this time. It's, it was amazing. I'll have some D23 videos up for you guys soon once I actually like go to edit them and stuff. Um, but I did pick up a couple of things at Disneyland and I just wanted to show you guys some of the free things that I picked up at D23. Um, just to preface this video, I did not go to Mickey's of Glendale, the Disney store. I didn't stand any of the lines to pick up any of the ofi official um, D23 merch. Um, the lines were very, very long this year as they typically are. Um, and I wasn't interested in really any of the merch this year. I don't know why. Uh, back in 2015, I had only gone on a Saturday and I wish I had gone to the Mickey's of Glendale store because they had so many great pins, but this year I wasn't really impressed maybe just me um, and uh, I wasn't really super interested in some of the D23 uh, clothing items which is what I would have probably gotten um, purchased anyways this time around but I wasn't really interested in any of them because like I didn't like the colors so I didn't really pick up too much stuff at D23 but I did want to show you guys some of the free things that I did get so first of all if you went you obviously got your own badge this was mine and they actually made them pretty cheap this year um, last time, well I guess not the badge itself, but last time in 2015, they like sent you out these badges in the mail and then at the actual um, uh, event, you know, the convention, they had these great little laminates that you could put the card in and then you just, you know, hang it around your neck for your lanyard. This year they just had this little clip lanyard, as you can see. So like a little flimsy, but I mean it never ripped or broke off, but they do give these lanyards out as well. I actually picked up a couple extra of those just in case like it broke. I was really nervous about it because it wasn't a um, the laminate kind from last time. So I just picked up a couple extra one of those and I guess I just have extra extra um, lanyards now, but I don't know what I'm gonna need them for. But you do get your badge and then I picked up a couple of pins while I was there. Um, just visiting some of the booths and this one was one of my favorite ones. I got a Lion King button. Um, if you went to the 360 booth there where you put on the virtual, uh, the VR goggles and the headset and everything and then you got to see yourself on stage for the Lion King. So that was pretty neat. Um, and they gave free buttons out then. Um, if you actually went on Friday or Saturday, because I think mid-Saturday they actually ran out of these, you did get to pick up your own D23 tote bag. My brother picked up one of these like every time he saw one. <laughs> he has like I think four of them. Um, I told him to stop picking them up. But he like really does use these a lot, especially for shopping and stuff. So um, they're actually really nice. I When I went last time, 2015, I didn't get to pick up one of the uh, little totes. I was super excited. I only got one. I only needed one. So um, just as D23 has the actual date on it, has Mickey on it, and then obviously some advertisement on the back. But really cute. Um, and they actually made them really nice this year because these do fit over the shoulder really nicely. Sometimes the other uh, Disney totes I feel like don't have a long enough shoulder strap and they're more like handheld. Uh, but uh, we did get one of these. And then everyone who went could also pick up your own kind of guidebook. So it tells you a lot about some of the uh, booths that are gonna be in there, just general information. I mean like, it's like a hodgepodge of craziness at D23, as I guess are most conventions in general. Um, I mean, there's just stuff everywhere and then uh, rules about, you know, where to line up, how to line up, etc, etc. So um, it's kind of a nice little souvenir guide really just to see uh, some of the things that they had. Just to remind yourself of some of the things you did. It actually, the, one of the cutest things that I thought was really, really neat. Oh, they do have like a, um, a map, which I thought was pretty helpful. But one of the cutest things that I thought was they have a little section for autographs in this little booklet. So if you actually stood in the lines to meet any of your favorite stars or happen to run into them um, as you were at the convention, nice little book to have them sign and stuff. So that's that. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. I didn't realize how crazy it was, but it's like a very gloomy day. And then I've just got like a mess of stuff over here. I just didn't know how to organize this. Anyways, um, we went to the Pirate's Life for Me booth little section where you got to see a bunch of cool memorabilia, props, um, just lots of stuff uh, relating to pirates and things like that regarding Disney. So they had ships, they had um, costumes from like Pirates of the Caribbean, um, just a lot of cool stuff from the ride. It was just anything pirate related you can think of for Disney, it was there. I'm Peter Pan, like I mean, just everything. So um, 
when after you got to go through, they were handing out these little cute Pirates of the Caribbean uh, temporary tattoos. So we got those. I have two because one's actually my brother's. Um, I'm gonna give that to him once I see him. Uh, next, I actually picked up one of the free like poster things that they were giving out, you know, and I was really surprised because in 2015 when I went to the live action panel, uh, most of the movies that they were previewing and things had uh, free posters that they were giving out at the end. Um, this time around, Pixar, the animation panel only gave out one free poster as well as the live action panel only gave out one free poster. So I was pretty surprised about that. I didn't pick up the um, animation panel one. Um, it was a little bit crazy and I, it wasn't a big deal to me, but I did pick up this one because I thought it was really neat. Um, it is for A Wrinkle in Time. So there's the poster. The footage for it looked really, really amazing, you guys. Um, I'm so impressed by it after watching the uh, preview at the live action panel. The whole experience of D23 is amazing, but the live action panel is really my favorite, favorite panel. It's like the one reason I really go to it. The, the animation panel was great though. My first year ever going to that one, um, but I love the live action panel, but oh my gosh, the footage from Wrinkle and Time looked amazing. So very excited to have this poster. I'll probably put it up on one of my walls here um, in my little hobby room. And then the last thing that I have to show you guys well, that was a freebie from D23 is actually my favorite thing. Um, it's actually my brother, but I think he'll give it to me. It's a little wrinkled. I should have unfolded this earlier, but it is a Thor Ragnarok poster. They were actually giving these out at the Marvel booth. Um, they did not give this out at the uh, live action panel or, or anything like that. It's a very small one, as you can see, but it has Thor and Hulk on it. It gives me life. I love it, love it, love it. It's so funny because they were just randomly handing these out uh, just Sunday morning, just randomly. And my brother went to go look at the booth one more time and he said, oh my gosh, they're, they're handing out free posters. He's like, go get it. Because we were in line to do the Pirates thing. So when I, by the time I got there though, they were all gone. I couldn't believe it. So we have one. Um, my brother might want it, but if he does, I'll just let him have it. But if not, I'm gonna keep it in my room. That is all I got from D23. They were getting out a lot of other freebies. Um, like at Javiana's, they had this little Plinko type of game where if you stood in line and then you waited and you had to put a Plinko chip in and got a prize. Um, the prize I got was free ice cream and I was super totally down. Uh, my friend actually got a tote bag, which was really, really neat because I think that was like the big prize. So you got, I mean, their freebies were given away everywhere. You just had to ask, um, uh, be at the right place at the right time. Um, just, you know, just wait in line really is the big major thing. Waiting in line was probably the worst part of it because I feel like half of the time I was at D23, I was in the line for something. So it just depends if you want freebies, wait in the lines. If you don't, if you don't care about that stuff, don't. Oh, I, I got a $5 um, gift card to Starbucks too that I won, um, but that has already been transferred over to my gold card. So there's that. Uh, now we're just gonna get into the three items that I picked up at Disneyland this time. There weren't a lot of merchandise that I wanted from the March, or did I go in May? No, I think it was March trip that I took. Um, so I just picked up a couple of things. So the first thing that I picked up is actually this uh, postcard book. And this is very generic. I mean, they have this all the time. It has the rides and attractions at Disneyland. Um, it's just for postcards. I actually wanted to send these out um, to a couple friends, just, you know, as mementos of Disneyland. Uh, this retails for $7.95. I use my AP discount, so not too bad, really. Um, there are there are eight postcards in here, so a dollar a postcard, not too shabby. I absolutely love this next postcard, and I only found one for some reason, and then I just didn't find it again, so I wish I'd picked up a couple more, but it is this 2017 is it gonna show up for you guys? It's like one of those like holographic kind of thingies or like when you move it, things move. Um, but I really thought it was cute. It's another postcard. Yeah, so that's just what it looks like. It just has 2017 on it, so really neat. And then the last item I got is actually a shirt. I wore it to, I think it's the last day of D23 and I absolutely love it. It is so, so comfortable. It is this shirt. Ah, look at how cute just says Mickey Mouse and turkey legs and monorails and churros and Space Mountain. What, what? Um, this was at World of Disney. This was pretty much everywhere. I think it was one of their newer items that were in stock. This shirt, a shirt that had the beast on it and a shirt that just said 
a turkey leg, or no, just had a turkey leg on it, and a shirt that also had a Mickey Mouse pretzel on it. I was so tempted to get the Mickey Mouse pretzel one, but I really like the color of this one. Um, this is such a soft fabric, and I absolutely love it. It is the Disney Parks fabric. Uh, it is made up of 80% polyester, 20% cotton. So, so cute. And it's so funny because I typically don't go for these shirts that have the the writing with the and, and, and. I mean, this is such a, you know, meme sort of thing. So I typically don't go for these. I go for more of like Mickey Mouse's face or like, you know, like Captain America's face. But I don't know, I really like this. I just, I just love how soft it is. So it'd be a perfect shirt to wear to Disneyland. I'm a little bit concerned about the size. I got a medium in this. I kind of wonder if I should have gotten a small. My friend and my brother were insistent that this would shrink a little bit. Um, but it looks, I washed it. This is now washed and it looks pretty much the same size. I guess I don't mind it. It doesn't look terrible and it's okay to have a loose shirt, but um, I don't know. I think the small would have been okay too, but very lovely shirt. Um, don't remember the full retail price since I've actually worn it, but I believe it was $34 without the AP discount. So uh, these were pretty much every store that I could see in the parks and at World of Disney. So if you are interested in it um, and you're watching this around the time that um, I posted it, uh, it should be there. And that is my little haul. Thank you guys so much for watching, even though I didn't have a bun bunch of D23 merch. Um, I, again, like I said, I went to D23 this year, really hoping to go to the big panels, um, take pictures next to all the cool, fun stuff, and um, just experience more of the booths because in 2015 when I went for the one day, um, I just didn't get to do everything that I wanted to, uh, including all of that stuff and just standing in those really long lines to make those purchases, I couldn't do everything. So again, if you go to D23 or any of these uh, sort of conventions that are really, really populated, you have to kind of pick and choose your battles and I wanted to do other things than purchase stuff. So. And that's all I've got for you. Thank you so much for watching this video though. If you guys want to see more from me, check out the links in the description box below. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and click subscribe because you want to see more of me. I have lots of random content though. I always like to kind of preface that. Um, Disney content, hobby content, um, just whatever happens to interest me at that time, I guess is my content. So uh, thank you again so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.